717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do. For anyone thinking of starting their own distillery, Leanne Herbrook has a few words of advice. It's a lot more intensive and expensive than you think. The equipment is substantial and the regulations are many. Every day is a school day. There's a lot to learn and it's difficult. But that doesn't mean it can't be done and it doesn't mean it can't be fun. Case in point, Tom's Foolery Distillery located in Burton, Ohio. The business was started in 2008 by Leanne and her husband Tom. Tom's Foolery started as a hobby, right. so when we applied for our permit, um, we were, uh, really we just had a 50 gallon still, we were planning to make apple brandy in it. It took us an, one, a whole entire year to make our first barrel of apple brandy because our still was so small. Today Tom's Foolery sells about 40 barrels of spirits a year, including bourbon, rye, apple brandy, gin, and other specialty items such as pear and peach brandy and corn and wheat whiskey. Their products can be found in about 100 stores throughout Ohio and in 10 other states. The biggest seller is bourbon. Bourbon uh, is definitely the thing, um, not only in the U.S., but all over the, all over the world, um, and that's great. It deserves to be uh, the thing. It tastes uh, wonderful, and here in America, there's just such a really fascinating history behind how that product was developed. The story goes that distilling was brought to Kentucky in the mid-1700s by the Scots, who were adept at distilling whiskey. The problem was the only grain that was widely available was corn. Fortunately, the corn gave the spirit a sweet flavor. Then it's said that in 1780, a Baptist minister named Elijah Craig discovered the best way to clean a fish barrel for storing whiskey was to burn it. And so the recipe and legend of bourbon was born. 51% corn uh, and uh, uh, aged in a new charred oak barrel, um, has to be distilled below 160 proof, has to go into a bottle above uh, 80 proof, has to go into the barrel below 120 proof. We added a honey malt to this and it doesn't have a honey taste. Tom's Foolery spirits are aged six years inside the rack house, which sits in a barn in front of the Herbrooks home. It currently holds about 453 gallon barrels. The barrels are sourced from a Scottish barrel maker in Ohio and the recipe for each batch is written on the outside. So this is a rye whiskey uh, distilled in December 2013 and this would have been 69 percent organic rye from a local farmer um, here in Ohio, uh, 29 percent rye malt and 2 percent barley malt. Tom, who still maintains a full-time job in Cleveland, says while Kentucky is known as the bourbon capital, the weather in Northeast Ohio is optimal for making the spirit. The temperature swing uh, is really good for whiskey because it pushes the whiskey in and then pulls it back out of the wood. A couple miles from the rack house is the 115 acre farm where Tom's Foolery grows all of its corn and rye. It's also where they do their distilling. The first step is milling the corn. And so we'll take uh, roughly 1,200 pounds of uh, corn, uh, mix it with um, uh, 200 to 250 pounds of rye. Then the corn, rye, and barley malt are added to the cooker. Uh, the process of about eight hours, uh, we'll um, boil it and then reduce the temperature down and the malted barley will convert the starches into fermentable sugars. From there it goes to the fermenter for about three days before moving to the distiller. We put it into the thousand gallon beer still um, and this will boil for about eight hours. Um, alcohol vapors come off before water and it comes out here and we collect it in this tank. Aside from the occasional help from family, all of the work is done by Tom and Leanne, though they both say work is not what they want this business to become. We named it Tom's Foolery because it was it was fun. It was his hobby. It was fooling around in the barn, and, and he wanted to name it something super stiff and serious, and I was like, no, 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 because when it gets to that point, when it's no longer fun, and we don't remember that it was fun, then we probably shouldn't be doing it. 717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do.